At Ops Level, we believe that your service catalog should be more than just a source of truth. That's why with our latest feature, Service Maturity, your catalog becomes a point of leverage for building more reliable services. Let's now jump into a brief demo of how Service Maturity works in Ops Level. In addition to cataloging your services, Ops Level has supported running checks against your services for a long time now. A check evaluates your service against a standard or best practice that your engineering org has put in place. As you can see on the screen, checks cover a wide variety of use cases, including validating core service metadata like owner, tier, or language, searching link repositories for a particular file or value, or even parsing vulnerability scans from third-party tools like Sneak. Our most extensible type is the custom event check, which can handle and parse any arbitrary JSON payload. So you can now integrate anything from your ops tool chain with ops level. Over time, we've learned though that engineering teams need more than just checks in order to turn their best practices into sustainable improvements. To keep up with complex architectures and future development work, service owners need access to clear next steps when it comes to service maturity and operational excellence. Long checklists can be overwhelming and then easily ignored. So with service maturity, we've introduced the rubric, which you're now seeing on my screen. Rubrics enable engineering leadership to organize all the checks so that what's next for my service is always easy for service owners to answer. The vertical axis on the left-hand side is for categories. These are entirely customizable and allow for segmenting checks in a way that makes sense for your team structure or areas of emphasis. The axis across the top of the rubric has service levels. By default, we use a bronze, silver, gold scale, but the name and number of levels is up to you. The goal of levels is to bring natural prioritization and focus to engineering teams who have to do the actual work of passing checks. Looking now at an individual service maturity report, we can see it hasn't passed all the checks to meet the bronze level and is considered below the minimum threshold for deploying to production. Once it's passed this last Kubernetes check, it will be considered bronze and could shift its focus to the checks at the next level. As you move up the levels, checks may become tailored to specific types of services or become nice to haves instead of must haves, all depending on the current priorities and needs of your company. Once created, checks are applied to all relevant services in ops level, and they include straightforward places for explaining your checks, why they're important and what action to take if you're a service owner failing a particular check. No more Slack messages about which standards to follow or how to be in compliance. Also here on this individual service maturity report, I can see a services level by category, which goes deeper than a single number or score, but is still easy to understand at a glance. Lastly, I'd like to show you the service maturity overview dashboard, where anyone can get a bird's eye view of service maturity across your organization. We can see a breakdown of services by level, by category and level, or use service attributes and save filters to slice and dice however we need to. If you're interested in getting started on your own service maturity model, please visit us today at opslevel.com to request your demo.